What's going on guys? Happy Sunday. I just wanted to put together this video to show you guys how I've been beating prize picks every single month for thousands of dollars. And to do that, I want to do what I think is the most helpful, most responsible way to do that. And that is to simply sign into my account and show you guys exactly what I'm betting on, all my wins, all my losses, and actually scroll through my account so that you guys know that I'm not just saying this, I'm actually doing it every single day. And I am placing the wagers that I'm talking about. And so that kind of brings me to my first point, which is real versus fake, right? A lot of these people on YouTube, they'll say how I did X or how to do X, but they're not actually doing that thing, right? I kind of want to shake up the game on YouTube, right? I want to be the kind of voice of reason who actually shows what they do and doesn't just talk about it. So if you guys have seen my video called how to win on prize picks 2024, you guys would know that I use the correlation strategy to win on prize picks. So if you're not familiar with the correlation strategy, I'll just use one of my bets to kind of describe it to you. So correlation simply means when X happens, Y happens, right? When one thing happens, another thing is likely to happen. So let's look at this bet that I placed on Detroit versus Minnesota baseball game. So I chose the pitcher, right, on Minnesota to go under his pitcher fantasy score. Pitcher fantasy score basically means how many strikeouts do you throw um, versus how many runs do you give up, right? So how good is the pitcher going to be? So in this case, we are rooting for the pitcher to do bad. So if the pitcher does bad, that means the hitters on the other team are going to do good. That means the hitters are going to have runs. They're going to have runs batted in, aka RBIs, and they're going to have hits, right? So this stuff is very simple. Literally, all I did was stack the pitcher from one side to go under, and then we took the hitters on the other team to go over, right? These things are correlated. They're in the same game. If one thing happens, another thing is likely to happen. And that makes it way, way easier to hit this four-leg parlay because all this is a parlay, right? It's a parlay that pays you, in this case, 13x. If you get four right, you 13x your money. So what a lot of people do on prize picks when they just start out, they don't realize what they're doing. They'll choose a bunch of bets that are non-correlated. So let's say we choose TJ McConnell over his points, Tyrese Halliburton under his points, and Bobby Portis over his rebounds. And some people would say this is a good slip. It's a terrible slip. Why is it a terrible slip? Because these things have nothing to do with each other, right? There is zero correlation. Just because Tyrese Halliburton gets less than 31 points, that doesn't mean TJ McConnell is going to get more than 11 points which has nothing to do with Bobby Portis getting, you know, over 11 rebounds. So you're making it infinitely harder for yourself to win on prize picks and other DFS sites like Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Dabble, whatever, if you're not placing correlated bets. So let's take, look, look, let's look at another example. Let's talk about esports. If you guys don't know, I do like to bet on esports a lot. Let's see one of my wins from today. So this is another good example, right? This is Call of Duty. You guys might say, what the hell are you doing? You're betting on esports, like you're betting on video games. What are you doing? Well, it's because it's super profitable, right? What you can do is you can choose one person on one team to go under their kills. You can choose another player on the other team to go under their kills. These two things are correlated because in this specific game, Call of Duty, either the game goes for a long amount of time or the game goes for a little amount of time. So if one person on one team goes under their kills, then, excuse me, another person on the other team is going to go under their kills. These two things are correlated. You can do the exact same thing with, you know, two more players. So you can choose them to go under or vice versa. You can choose them to go over. And those two things are highly correlated, making it way easier to hit this. You know, in this case, I pushed on one leg. So this is a 5X. So let me expand this screen recording to show you guys my balance, to just kind of show you guys how I've ran up my balance on this website. So I started off, I don't know if you guys can see in the corner, got about four grand in price picks right now. I actually started off with $1,000 in December and managed to use the correlation strategy to get up to $4,000, even though I've actually withdrawn several thousands of dollars, right? So in reality, I'm up about $10,000 in profit in about four months. And if you ask me, that's pretty damn good. So enough of that. I want to show you guys where I'm actually getting these bets, right? So I'm getting these bets all from my Discord. If you guys don't know, I am affiliated with the Juice Bets Discord and we are basically a discord of sharp professional sports bettors, and we are finding edges like this every single week. When I say edges, I mean ways to beat the sports books, how to beat prize picks, how to beat underdog, how to beat sleeper, fan duel, Caesars, whatever sports book it is, we have education and we have professional knowledge on how to beat these books. And we're sending out profitable bets, just like these ones that I just showed you on the screen, esports, baseball, whatever it is, we are sending these out every single day, 24 seven. So if you want to be a profitable sports better, I'll go ahead and I'll throw my profit loss on prize picks up on the screen as well. You guys can look at my Picket account. Um, if you're not aware, Picket is basically an app where you can track your bets. That $70,000, you know, 
winnings number that you guys see is only gross winnings. It's not net. So in reality, my net is around 10% of that, you know, eight to 10,000, which is still super good. But my point is, if you guys want to make money betting on sports, join the Juice Bets Discord. There's not a Discord out there that's doing the things that we are doing. And I promise you, if you're not having success with sports betting, it's simply because you don't have a community like this to show you guys and guide you on the way, right? When I first started out in sports betting, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And it wasn't until I started reaching out to other people, joining communities, getting knowledge from other people that I actually started to, you know, compound my bankroll and explode my profits. So I highly recommend that you guys do the same thing. I'm not just saying this. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys want to join the Discord, get these bets and ask any questions, you can get a free three-day trial using the link in the description. Take care, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.